Hello everyone, my name's Emily, and today we'll be running through a lazy girl's guide to business casual, specifically in the workplace. There's been a lot of interesting discourse online, um, and a lot of potentially inappropriate business casual wear slash what does even business casual mean? So, as someone who wears business casual and is a lazy girl, let's come along for the ride. We have quite a bit in store. So we're gonna start this from like warmer weather, progressing to colder weather. Also, I will note this all depends on like your workplace's environment. My work is always cold. So no matter what, I'm probably wearing long sleeves, even if it's 90 degrees outside. I'll also note all workplaces have different dress codes. So this is a very generic business casual kind of overview, but Sometimes companies have a little bit of different styles. So let's get right into it. Business casual outfit number one. I'll probably lose track, so bear with me. We're gonna try to remember. A nice, simple blouse. I don't remember where a lot of these things I bought them from. So I'm gonna try to link them all in the description. So check them out there. But a nice, simple blouse, get some airflow. It's also a thicker band, which tends to be a little bit more professional. And then I have these nice little khaki dress pants. Super easy, you can tuck it in, you can pull it out, make it a little bit more flowy, whatever you like. If you wanna dress it up, we can add a little bit of blazer want to make it a little bit more dressy. You don't have to do this for business casual. Maybe if it's cold in your office, bring a blazer. Does this have pockets? Well, there we go. Yes. Easy, easy enough. And then you can pair these with, this is an Asian household, so we don't wear shoes inside, so you won't see it all together. But you could pair it with some flats. You could pair it with some little booties. If you, you can pair it with sandals, sometimes workplaces are weird about open toed shoes, especially in an office space. I don't really get this, but whatever. You can easily pair this with whatever you like. I like buying a lot of basics, so you can kind of pair them with other things. But let's move on to our next summary item. All right, our next one is a very similar vibe. I own a lot of white. If you like white, invest in your nude bras, girlies. Another blouse, good for the summertime. Let yourself air out. I like this because it has the thicker straps, more workplace appropriate. This one, you can, you can tuck it in. You can untuck it, whatever your heart desires. We can add our little blazer moment. Easy enough. Very similar energy as that first one, but just a little bit of a different top. Let's move on. All right, our next one, we have a little bit of a change of pant. Another high rise dress pant. I don't really have a lot of different pants. I just have them in different colors because I choose to purchase a lot of basic tops that can be easily mixed around. These are a little bit more see-through than I prefer, so definitely not a period day, but they do go nicely with other things. And then we have another one of our nice blouses. This one I know for sure. I have no idea where it came from. I was giving it to me by a friend, but I'll link the brand at least. But once again, the thicker sleeves making it a little bit more work appropriate, but still getting that airflow. We can add on our blazer. Another option we can do if you don't want to do a blazer is we have some cardigans. But if you work in a colder office, this color combination might be, not be the easiest. But like I said, having lots of different basics is the key in my opinion. So you can kind of wear a lot of the same things but mix it up. So like here, maybe not this color combination but it's still a little bit warmer. It's giving suburban mom at least then you can be warm and comfort is important. We'll quickly show with our other cardigan. And this is like, once again, another outfit, super easy. I wear a lot of flats, not the greatest support for your feet, but it is what it is. You could do some little booties again. Then you have another little cardigan outfit. 
and you can dress it up if you want to be a little bit fancier i wear like really like minimalistic makeup makeup jewelry but you can have a little necklace if you'd like some bracelets earring rings you can really do whatever you like i am a lazy girl and you're lucky if i change my earrings so all right I have one more warm outfit. I'll just do it now. I'll just do it now. And then we'll move on to the like more colder outfits. I think one day when I have so much money, it's crazy. It'd be cute to have one of those like clothing rack things. But for right now, I just have my door handle. This is honestly was one of my go-tos. I live in scrubs now, so but was one of my go-to outfits cause like you don't have to match a pant. It's like appropriate enough. No one's gonna freak out about how much skin I'm showing. A cute little fit. This one I would probably wear with sandals, but like once again, if they're weird about open show twos, shoes. If they're weird about open show shoe, open. Oh my gosh, what am I saying? Worried about open toed shoes. You could do some little booties. They get kind of weird sometimes about like gym shoes. I would totally wear my white gym shoes all the time. But check with your company. I don't want you getting in trouble, but a little dress never hurt anybody. It's so easy and perfect for the warm weather. Let's get into the colder weather. This is what I thrive in because I run cold. So this is what I mostly wear. All right, our first one. I would invest in good black dress pants. I have two pairs. I have my little high-waisted pair, and then I have a low-waisted pair. They're nice because depending on where we are in the menstrual cycle, how our body image is that day, how we're feeling, I have options. And then just pairing with this like super simple long sleeve, this shirt, from white and black, I do remember this, and it like makes it look like it's, we're layering, but it comes with a shirt so you don't have to. You could pair with a cute little necklace. So easy, and then some little booties. So fun. We're gonna keep this going because I have a lot of these. <laughs> All right, our next one, I lied. So I apologize for the rain. We have our last summery warm option, a super simple black, okay, can you even see? Super simple black pants, white top, spruce it up with some jewelry. You can add your little cardi and just like really make it a little bit more exciting. I think the key is a lot of basic tops and bottoms that you can just alternate like, this is a brand new outfit. Crazy, minimal effort. And I don't like putting a ton of thought into what I'm wearing, at least for work. Like, I love dressing up for like social events and days I'm off and going out. For work, I like Steve Jobs or whoever who wore the same exact thing every day to like save energy or whatever, save that mental, that mental energy, but it's so easy. Rad, let's move on. Okay, this is low-key giving a waiter, slash like, I feel like a lawyer. This is where I would probably um, untuck this a little bit, but we can spruce it up a little bit. What we could do, I'm gonna get crazy. I'm a big sweater fan, especially sweater vests. We want to make this a little bit more exciting. If you like the more proper look, I tend to go for is the like more casual look. So what you could do is untuck half of it. Go for kind of like a very like a little bit more of a casual look or you could just completely untuck it. If you want to, we could, we could roll sleeves a little bit. Show off the forearms. Ooh. It's giving a little bit more effort, but still, actually, I don't know. I don't know if I like it. 
think I might like, <laughs> is this the millennial coming back out in me? Or I like the uh, tuck in front. Actually, we're gonna, we're just gonna leave it. Maybe I need to button it completely. Will that make it look better? You raise me up. I wish I could sing. <sighs> I don't want to get copyrighted though. All right, I think this is better buttoned in, but super easy. Hey, what's in? You do booties, flats, the whole shebang. Let's continue on. Like, it's so basic. You don't have to do anything crazy. You came here for the lazy girl guide. Hey, you know what you were expecting to come in, but literally, we just have our dress pants and then a basic little long sleeve. This time we have a little bit of a pop of color. Wow. Let's move on. There's. There's nothing else I have to say. Another long sleeve, are we surprised? No. But I love this one because look at this material. It's, I think this is old navy, I think. But it's so thin. I'm not gonna show you this because like as you can see, it's pretty transparent and you don't need to see anything under there. It's nice for the summer because like it's still long. If you like want to cover a little bit more, it's still nice and loose. But it's airy so we're not sweating and overheating. It's so cute. I love it. Let's keep moving. I don't know what I'm doing with myself. Alright, next one. How basic and simple, but it's basically just the black shirt version of that orange shirt I just had on. Literally, you could pair this with any of the pants. Basics, guys. Basics. Alright. Are we getting it yet? All right, I have three more. And they're all more winter focused or if you work in a cold environment, like I do, I run cold. These are for you. All right, our first one of the colder weather edition is just this little nice like thin sweater. I think this is Tommy Hill, Hill, Hillinger? Hillinger? I don't know the name. I live in, you can ask any of my coworkers, a sweater and a black pant will take you so far. You cannot go wrong. You'll be comfortable and you don't have to think about it. You can throw this with some like little winter, some more of those booties, do flats. Easy enough. <laughs> Let's move on. All right, okay, our last one is a sweater. Are we surprised? No. It's a long sleeve, easy enough. Your sweater with the black pants, these are my low rise pants. The last staple pant I have in, I have a little bit of a pop color. We can dress it up if we need to. So easy and simple. Wow, I love turtlenecks. They're so easy. All right, that's enough. Our last one. Winter outfit, so let's go. We have our nice thick sweater now. Going more of those basics that goes with so many things. I think this sweater's from Zara, I think. Although, a little bit of a pet peeve with Zara is a lot of their sweaters are dry clean only. I just throw this in the wash on delicate or gentle or, cause I don't have time or money for that and it works perfectly fine, but like, look how cute. So easy, you don't have to think about it. That's that. Thanks for watching today, guys. This video is dedicated to my sister who specifically requested this video. This is how to dress business casual as a lazy girl. It doesn't have to be crazy. Just get some basics, mix it around, and you'll be great and fine. If you like this video, Give it a nice little like, helps me a lot. Comment below if you have any other business casual tips or questions, happy to answer them. And then if you like this type of content or want to see more from yours truly, be sure to subscribe and turn on those bell notifications so you don't miss any videos from me. Otherwise, thanks for watching today, guys. I need to go fold all these clothes now. I don't want to do that, but you know what? Sometimes sacrifices have to be made and we must persevere. All right, bye guys. I'll see you next week.